M particles data filtering gives you full control over where your customer data is sent. I'm starting in our platform filter tool. And here you can see all the different categories of data we can set filters for, as well as outputs we can set filters against. Starting in the events category, you can see a list of all the different events that are being sent into this instance of mParticle. Say I wish to filter this remove from cart event out from getting sent through maybe radar, Google Marketing Cloud. I can toggle those switches hit save, and just like that, remove from cart has now been filtered out from getting sent to these tools. If I drop down an event, you'll see that we also have the ability to filter out event attributes from getting sent downstream to various tools as well. Say I don't really care about transaction ID in say radar, Google Marketing Cloud, and maybe I do want to send the transaction ID to Braze and Salesforce. I can click those switches, hit save, and now this checkout place order event is still sending to Radar, Google, and Amplitude, but without the transaction ID value associated with it. The last thing I want to show here is this user tab, which gives you the ability to filter on and off user data, i.e. user attributes, from getting sent downstream. This is really great if you want to set control over where PII is getting sent and thus have better control over customer privacy. Say I want to send the last name to my marketing tools, but I don't really have a need for it in analytics. I can filter it out from getting sent to Amplitude as well as maybe Radar here. And then once again, click Save, and those, of it, those user attributes have now been filtered out. One of the other big value adds to our platform filters is cost control. Some downstream tools are priced based off of event count or volume. And being able to select the exact data set, the specific data set that's relevant to that output tool, means that you're really only paying for what's necessary. Lastly, maybe you want to set a more global filter that's connection based. To do so, I'm going to click on Connect and hop into the connection that I wish to set this filter for. Let's say iOS to Adobe Analytics. Click Forwarding, and I'll have here a list of forwarding rule options. So say maybe I only want to send users who aren't paying for the product, free users, to Adobe, thus controlling the volume I'm sending downstream. Here I can select user attribute, set this forwarding rule based off of let's do my membership status is free. I've selected only forward these users. And just like that, I've set a more global forwarding rule to Adobe to ensure that only free users are sent downstream. I can set these rules with attribution as well. So selecting the publisher source that a user entered my property via. Consent, say I can only forward users to Adobe who have given a specific type of consent. I can do this here by saying only forward users who have given consent. And then I have a list of all the different consent purposes that I've configured via mParticle's consent model. Say I'm only allowed to send users who have consented to location, select that, hit save, and I've now set up that forwarding rule as well. Lastly, this ID sync forwarding rule gives me the option to send only logged in users, again, giving me even more volume control around how, what types of users I'm sending to this downstream output. As you can see, mParticle's filtering capabilities give you full control over your customer data while limiting, eliminating technical dependency and enhancing agility.